In Brussels, the home of the European Parliament, the Kenyan ambassador, Johnson Weru, is an example of rural potential given access to a fine education. Kalibu sana. He's at the offices of Microsoft for the European launch of the For Africa initiative. And in a private office, he takes part in a unique Skype call to a school in the county he grew up in. I was born uh, just a few kilometers from Doldo. A school not connected to Maine's power, nor to familiar telecommunications networks. He's talking to the children across an internet signal powered by solar and transmitted through television white spaces, unused capacity from a network of masts that cross much of the country. It's an emotional connection. What is the most substantive challenge that you'd want us to address? Uh, we need more learning materials in schools. When you see a school full of children, when you enable such people at that age to make informed decisions, to know where to turn to when they want information. That is the quality citizen that every country desires. If they want to know about anything in the world, the technology has been brought to their doorstep. Several years ago, that was absolutely impossible. Rather than thinking about eradicating poverty, we like to think about it as creating wealth and, and really, really catalyzing economic development in Africa. You can see a joy seeing the future Kenyans and seeing the partnership and appreciating what good organizations like Microsoft and partners can do to get good quality education, good quality life and decision making using technology. It's a technology which has now evolved into a human development application. Access to technology is the core, right? It's the foundation. And TV White Spaces gives us both affordability, reach, coverage, and relevance to what Africa needs. When you solve African problems, because they tend to be fundamental, you solve them the world's problems. This technology is now ready. Now is our time. It's possible that uh, you can come from such hub of beginnings I'd enjoyed this historic moment to speak to you. There are just under two billion people currently connected to broadband. This technology could connect the next five billion. We are going to change the world with this one.